Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Environmental uh, Advisor or the Grassroots Kinds. It's the simple things that we can do at home to save money, help biodiversity, do our own climate change, do our own climate action. So at the moment we're in May and it's no more May. So as you can see behind me, I haven't touched this. This is my little uh, like biodiversity garden. And as you can see right there, there's lots of flowers, lots of wild things coming through there. And this was full of daffodils and tulips. We've got some chive, wild chive on the go there. But it's just to sort of show you, like, I, I only mow this like once a year uh, and then let it go wild. And then up the side of my garden, then I've got all like uh, there's lemongrass, fennel, uh, mint is down there, rosemary there, we've got thyme there, chive just up there, rhubarb up there. There's a bit more going on. But this is the big thing I want to show you. This is, this is normally my immaculate lawn, but I've come to let it go wild. And the amazing thing I've saw this year, my binoculars out my window, was uh, there was a goldfinch in there just taking all the seeds because they were all perfect for them. So it was amazing to see actually doing no mowing and how it benefited so many different types of flora and fauna and bees and insects and birds. And then that's the apple tree in full bloom. So yeah, I just wanted to sort of show you why it's so good to have this. Uh, and this will just keep growing now uh, and I'll probably cut it in September. Um, and my daughter frolics through it and has a wonderful time um, and it's just really good for the environment just to do something and it's just less work for us I mean, when I was when I used to mow this I used to mow it like at least every week and it would just grow faster and faster the more you mow the more it grows you know if you just leave it it just starts to slow down and this is the second year when I really haven't been mowing it and you can sort of see all the different types of like buttercups and dandelions and all different types of grasses too, all coming through on it now. So it sort of shows that actually not touching it's really good and it doesn't take long for Mother Nature to get back in charge of it all and, and make it a nicer garden to play in. It's really sunny right now. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.